Hey guys, Anthony and Clarissa here today. We're going to uh, break down the idea of West Coast Swing. So one of the common things I hear a lot here in the studios, I want to learn West Coast Swing or my friends dance West Coast Swing, uh, but it's really complicated. It's really difficult. I try it. It's really hard. Or I've tried it and I hated it. And it's impossible to hate West Coast Swing if you actually understand West Coast Swing. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down the ideas of West Coast Swing and make it a lot more simple for you guys. So. The basic idea of West Coast Swing is it creates a slot. So for the follower, she's going to start over here. She's going to go over to this side of the slide. It's kind of like a railroad track. She goes forward and back. So in your mind, I want to paint a picture. She has two circles. She's going to be in this circle or she's going to be in that circle. These are pink circles because, you know, she's a lady. So she has pink circles and then she has a line. So she goes from standing in that circle over here to this other circle on the other side. All right. Now, I have my own circles. I actually have three blue circles. Uh, I have one blue circle right in between her two pink circles. I have one blue circle over here and I have one blue circle over here. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to send her. I'm going to step to this side blue circle and then I'm going to get back in the middle and maybe it doesn't matter what the variation is. The motion is essentially the same. So I started from over here, regardless of what's happening, she's going from one side to the next and I step in and out to send her from one side to the next. So that's the motion. She goes forward and back and I go side to side to just kind of get out of her way. Now, the biggest thing is with West Coast Swing, West Coast Swing has no basic step, which means there's, unlike a lot of dances like waltz or so on, there's like a basic step and then everything just kind of branches off from that basic step. West Coast Swing doesn't have a basic step, it has a basic idea. And that's that motion where she travels along this slot and I get out of her way and I navigate her from one side of the slot to the next. Now, instead of learning a basic step, we're going to take um, a basic step, one of the many basic steps, and we're going to kind of break down the ideas. All right, so West Coast Swing has both six count and eight count patterns, all right? What we're gonna do today is we're gonna cover the basic ideas of the six count patterns, which is the one we're gonna start with, okay? So instead of teaching you a six count pattern, we're gonna take that six count pattern, it takes six beats for her to get over from here to over here to the other side. That typically would take about six beats of music. But instead of teaching you a six count pattern, we're gonna break it down into three sections of two beats of music. And we're gonna talk a little bit about intentions. An intention is something you intend to do, the thing you're trying to accomplish, all right? So in a basic six count pattern, the first section, the first two beats of music, the intention is she starts moving down the slot. Now the easiest way for her to move down the slot is to go walk, walk. Okay, we're gonna break down the footwork for both of you in just a second. But so she's always, as with the other dance, I'm gonna start with her right foot. I'm gonna start by going back with my left, and then she steps forward again, and I move over to that side circle to get out of her path. So that's gonna be section one. Section one, the intention is she starts moving towards the leader. Now section two, which is the middle two um, counts, she's gonna do the variation itself. In this case, she's doing a triple step. Now a triple step is three steps to two beats of music, so it's a syncopated rhythm. Syncopated rhythm means that it's gonna go three and four, three steps. So if you watch that from this angle, she has section one, which is a walk, walk, and then she has a three and four. At that point, she is finished going to that other circle. Now, guys, your part is gonna go back for one, you're gonna step out of the slot to the side circle for two, then you're gonna step in place for three and back into the center for four. So the intention of section two, we're gonna call that variation. This will make more sense in just a second, okay? Section three of every pattern in West Coast Swing is going to be an anchor, okay? So we finish section two with the leaders on the left foot, followers on the right foot. We're going to do a triple step in place. So we're going to go triple step. So that is just counting the rhythm, basically staying in place. That's going to be anchor. Here's your structure. Here's your intentions. She comes towards me, the variation, and anchor. So she comes towards me, variation anchor so your footwork is going to be walk walk triple step triple step so there's your three intentions now here's where it's going to get interesting this is why everybody gets so confused with the west coast swing they think they like to learn this and then when i learn that then i learn this other thing so they think about learning all these different patterns but really all we're doing anytime we do a six count pattern are different ways to do that format of come towards me variation and anchor here's the good news 
section one and section three will never change, theoretically. So she can come towards me, something happens, anchor in place. Or we could say she comes towards me, something happens, anchor in place. She comes towards me, something happens, anchor in place. The only thing that really changes uh, intention-wise is that middle section, okay? So all we're learning, instead of learning six count patterns, he is leading things that take up two beats of music in that middle two counts, knowing what the end caps are already going to be. Because in every six count pattern, she comes towards me for two counts, then something happens, and then we anchor. Now we can talk a little bit about this anchor a little bit. We stay in place and we stretch. It's kind of like stretching a rubber band. That has to happen in an inner pattern. That's not what this video is about. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, she comes towards me, something happens, we anchor in place. She comes towards me, something happens, anchor in place. She comes towards me, something happens, anchor in place. So that'll take out a lot of the confusion of West Coast Swing. We're talking about all this different stuff. It's really one motion. She goes forward and back along this lot. He goes side to side to kind of get out of her way. And he navigates her and he leads her for just two beats of music for a six count pattern. So let, we're just gonna lead some of these six count patterns. So she comes towards me, underarm pass, anchor in place. She comes towards me, rolling pass, anchor in place. She comes towards me, we both free spin, anchor in place. She comes towards me, sugar push, anchor in place. These are just different ways to essentially do the same thing, knowing that the first two counts and the last two counts are always going to be the same thing. So there's your basic idea of West Coast Swing. I hope that's been helpful. If you guys have any questions, you can actually email me directly. You can email me at anthony at countrydancehouston.com or just leave some comments down below. So thank you guys so much for joining. We'll see you guys next time.